Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today we are taking a look at these brand new prototypes by Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and I've said this in my posts and I will continue to say it. I am fair when it comes to being fair and I'm going to give them a lot of props for actually going forward and doing some of these models that they have produced here for this year. I believe these are 2020 models uh, for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Now one of them specifically is a truck model that I pushed very hard for for years and they were I guess never allowed to make it maybe for budget reasons maybe for contractual reasons I'm not sure but now that this model is actually coming out it is mind-blowing and it's also very interesting to see it uh, in this specific year but that will come at the end of the video. I want to start with my least favorite models. The first one, which is called Piranha. I'll put the actual name on screen so you can see it. It's a take on words, obviously a pun kind of thing. Um, it's a Piranha fish casting. I'm not too into their 3D castings because not always are they the best looking ones. This is kind of a weird looking Piranha fish, but uh, this is a new truck for 2020. I'm not sure what series it'll be in, but there's the Piranha. And then also the Radical Racer, which I believe I've seen this casting before. I'm assuming it's a Hot Wheels car casting that they've converted. Uh, not bad, though. The proportions are not terrible, but it is not the most interesting looking thing that's on this list for sure. So there's the Radical Racer, uh, another Hot Wheels conversion, if I'm correct on that, uh, like the Roger Dodger and the Bone Shaker. Uh, I think eventually we'll see almost every single Hot Wheels car original casting converted over and hopefully they continue to do cars castings that actually look good on the chassis which means you know low proportion correctly uh, they have not been doing that recently uh, the Hot Wheels Camaro and the Donkey Kong were very sad uh, representations of the lazy convert them to sell them aspect uh, but there are instances where they do proportion the trucks properly and the Radical Racer uh, if this is a true conversion I think is one of the better ones that uh, got converted correctly and then we have one that actually uh, we knew about if you guys watched uh, the prototype video with Brendan um, I think he is a designer for Hot Wheels for a long time now and it is actually a VW drag bus which is one of the most popular if not the most well-known Hot Wheels collector car uh, casting and it is actually a VW licensed bus you can see on the front here it has the VW emblem and and then it has that giant wing on the back the uh, spoiler so that's really awesome and the proportions on it look great so I'm very happy that they did that one correctly and then we come down to one that really hits home besides the last one which is just beyond but the one that really hits home is this one which is will trash it all we have already seen Will Trash It All in 124 scale as a recycle kind of vehicle. We're not sure if that's actually a recycle one or not, but this one is very specific. It is definitely a trash truck, which is something I've been asking for from Monster Jam when Hot Wheels was with Monster Jam since I was six years old. So uh, what is this now? 14 years. Uh, so 14 years later, besides Matchbox, who did an amazing looking garbage truck, this is the first official Hot Wheels branded garbage truck monster truck, which they are now the first ones to do that as well, besides their uh, affiliate company Matchbox, which already did theirs, a uh, front loader. This is now a, uh, a rear loader, I would assume, or uh, maybe a side loader, but I think it's a rear loader. And yes, they even got a functioning part on a 164 scale. This is the first time I believe ever in the history of Hot Wheels that we have a functioning piece on a 164 scale truck, which is the rear bed. Uh, the cap there opens up and you can actually see the motor inside, which is really cool. So the wheel trash at all, a brilliant orange paint job. I can't wait to see all the different paint jobs they do for this. I'm sure it's going to be an overuse casting, but I think that this truck has very serious potential to be one of my favorites from their lines so far. I applaud them for doing things like this and uh, the garbage truck monster truck was something that I think was inevitable by either company but uh, it looks like Hot Wheels did beat Monster Jam to it. I'm not sure if Monster Jam ever plans to do a garbage truck. I wish they would um, but at this point now Hot Wheels has beat them to a garbage truck model. And then the last model which is I think a shocker to anyone who's been a collector since the original Hot Wheels Moss Jam days. This is something that we all collectively agree on. I think that we all wanted this and we never really got the excuse why they couldn't do it. Uh, nowadays, I think that uh, this actual designer, Brendan, said they couldn't do it in the past. They didn't elaborate uh, as far as I know if they couldn't do it because of money or they couldn't do it because of the contract. But it looks like now... Uh, two years after the start of the Hot Wheels Moss Trucks line and just so happens to be the start of the Ride Trucks line for Spin Master Monster Jam, 
we have the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks ride truck. And that is definitely a statement in itself. The fact that they're bringing out a ride truck for the year of Spin Master's ride trucks and likely going to beat Spin Master to stores with it is definitely uh, an impressive and bold move by Hot Wheels. Um, you usually don't see them taking bold moves. I think that they are more so focused on just getting things out and selling them. They're not focused on getting things that the community actually wanted made. That was in the past. I think now it's more so they're trying to do that, but they haven't been super successful with getting community interaction. As far as I know, uh, I'm not in the Hot Wheels circle. I'm kind of on the outside now. Uh, with obviously Spin Master, uh, but this is my ins outsider looking in view. I think that they are getting more feedback nowadays and they're working towards doing more creative and community driven projects. And that's something that I offer Spin Master, which is giving the collectors their voice and getting at least this part of the line, you know, dressed up and given out to the collectors. But I think now uh, Hot Wheels has looked at that. Uh, maybe not just me, but others, and seeing that community interaction is very important, even if it takes up a small portion of their line, and through things like Hall Y'all and the garbage truck and the VW bus, those things that collectors wanted for years are now coming back and surfacing. So I applaud Mattel and their design team for what they've done here. Again, bold move going against Spin Master and Monster Jam with the ride trucks, which now, again, these likely will be the first ride trucks in history to make it to stores. So that is a historic move. Now I look to Spin Master, hopefully they'll just knock out a Grave Digger ride truck into stores before this happens. It's basically a space race now uh, in diecast form. Who's gonna make the first ride truck into stores? Who's gonna get there first? I think that it'll be Hot Wheels because Hot Wheels has a reputation of releasing cases like Mad. I think we're on case E, which is mix five technically, uh, and case F, which is set to be released very soon. We're only in the first four days of February, and yet we're already halfway through the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks line year. So, uh, yeah, I, I see definitely ride trucks being on shelves um, from Hot Wheels in the next month. Um, and Spin Masters is not set to release until March, uh, and that's also a chase piece. So, we're going to see what happens. I'm excited. This is exactly the competition I think everyone wanted to see happen, and now... It's blatant that they are pushing back against, you know, what I've said, what the community said. They've taken a lot of beatings from us, you know. It's it's taken a lot to get them to do what we really wanted to see. And even if it's not us promoting them and it's just them honestly coming up with these ideas, I'm still very happy to see uh, at least someone, you know, challenging that system. And whoever designed these, congratulations, or designers, uh, congratulations, you have definitely impressed me. That's not... Uh, a really easy thing to do with Hot Wheels because, uh, you know, my track record with them as as a collector and growing up, you know, wanting things to be, you know, a specific way and never seeing it happen. So congratulations again. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. That's what matters is the community interactions and the community comments that matter. So you guys, as the community, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the Hot Wheels models. I don't like the Piranha. I don't really care for the Radical Racer, but I do like the VW bus. I absolutely love the garbage truck and very, very impressed by Hall Y'all. So thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster Mo CD signing out.